What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Edward and on Instagram I go by Trail Ready Forerunner. Welcome. So I posted a video on my Instagram stories a little while ago and I got a lot of DMs about it. So this is why I'm creating this video. If you're not following me on Instagram, definitely do so. I post there constantly. All right, so let's get into this video. So I've had these Baja rock lights for a while. So my initial idea was to put them on the roof rack so they give me area lighting when I'm pulling into campsite or if I wanna turn them on for a little while. All right, after doing a ton of research and kind of figuring out what I wanted, so I needed a bracket that was around 40 to 45 degree angle. That way I can mount it on the rack and it will still pivot down so it will shoot towards the floor. So I searched and searched and no company really makes it I did find one company that made a bracket that similar to what I wanted which was miso customs I tried DMing them and I never got an answer back they do make the bracket for the uptown overland company and they have their own rack that it fits into the issue I was having was they don't really have a lot of photos on their website and it looks like you need to cut a hole into the rack so the bracket can sit even flush that was one thing I didn't want to do. I didn't want to create a big old hole if I wanted to like sell the rack or if I wanted to get rid of the lights. So I threw that out the window. And what I came up with was buying a 45 degree aluminum angle and then creating a plate so that the light can sit on. So here's what I came up with. Hopefully you guys can see this. So this is the 45 degree aluminum bracket so that you can see I didn't paint that. This won't rust, it's aluminum, so it doesn't matter. Um, this model has like a this little cross beam here, which isn't really necessary because there's not gonna be that much pressure put on it, but it's pretty stout, a lot thicker than I potentially wanted. And then if you look on the back side, you can see there's an aluminum flat plate that I cut out similar to the light so that when you look at it from the front it's it looks a little cleaner you don't have like sh a sharp edge on the corners here so it just looks a little cleaner I kind of wish I would have left the sharp edges here but oh well so that's what the bracket looks like My initial thoughts were to weld this plate and the bracket, but when it came down to welding it, I don't have a, a aluminum welder. What I do is I, I use a torch and a aluminum rod. I heat up the aluminum and then melt the rod and then it, it adheres to itself. The problem was that there's no real way to clamp these two together. So these brackets have two holes, one here and then one on the other side, the same the same location. So what I did is I got a flathead screw, I put it in here, and then I bolted it in the back. So that's what's holding this plate and this 45 degree bracket to the light. Now to hold the light, I wanted it to be as flush as possible. So up here it's holding the aluminum plate backing here. And then on the bottom, what I did was I drilled a hole through the 45 and I tapped it. So I thread tapped it. So this, this screw is actually threaded in here, if that makes sense. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's super easy to make. I wish the angle was a little less, maybe like 40 degrees. This is, but this is all I can really find. I did make two of them so that I'll have one towards the front of the vehicle, one towards kind of the rear, and it'll give me some really good light under the bat wing awning. 
very simple mod. I'm gonna install them right now and show you guys how that process goes. Dang, it's bright out here. Let's get this installed. So I'm gonna use this carriage bolt. And the good thing about this carriage bolt is it has, geez, you guys can see that. It has grooves here, right? So on the rack, there are some strips where this carriage bolt will actually grab the inside of it. So when I go to bolt it on the other side, this end won't spin. The install is fairly simple. So we go through the rack, then I'm with this pre-drilled hole, I'm gonna go ahead and insert it, and then put a lock washer and a nut on it. And that's pretty much what's gonna hold it together. So let's get it installed. All right, so this is gonna be a pain because there's not that much room up there. And you can put them a, pretty much put this anywhere on this track here. So if you want to do two or three, you can do as many as you want. So once the bolt's up there, you take your light. Make sure to hold the bolt in the back. Lock washer next. And I'm also using a nylon nut just so that with vibration it doesn't come loose. Alright guys, that's all for this one. I hope this helps somebody out there. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. If you like this type of content, definitely give it a like. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.